Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. Let's consider the if statement. The if function tests the contents of a cell and subject to that test will show me a result. In this particular exercise we're going to see how to use the if formula with the figures over here in F3, F4 and F5. What I want to do however is to always refer in the formula that I'm going to enter into this cell here, C3, I want the reference to always look at these cells. Therefore I have to use what is called an absolute reference to those cells. That's why we see the dollar signs in formulas, because the dollar signs say always refer to particular cells. So the formula I'll enter into C3 is this, equals if, and open a bracket, if C3, uh, B3 is greater than dollar F dollar 3, in other words, always look at F3, comma, then show me what is in $F$4. But if that's not the case, because the if statement requires a third argument, that is if the test is not true, then show me what is in $F$5. When I close the bracket, I see that the rate is 3.8%. There's my formula. And the reason that it is 3.8% is because B3 is not greater than F3. Now because there's data in the column to the left, what I can do is to double click on the autofill button and it automatically copies that formula down. So let's have a look at the results. Uh, here I see the figures above 3,500 will show me a tax rate of 7.5%, but if the figure is $3,500 or less, then the rate will be 3.8%. So that's how the if statement works with absolute values, where you always want to refer to uh, values in particular cells, in this case F3, F4 and F5. So thanks for watching. A little bit of practice, uh, not difficult. Uh, the concept is uh, uh, there to be understood and that is why also you see dollar signs in formulas because we're always referring to particular cells in the formula. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you as a subscriber.